The claims are explosive. John Dowd, who led the investigation that got Pete Rose banned from baseball for gambling, told a radio station Rose may have sexually assaulted young girls. A guest host for WCHE 1520 in Westchester, Pennsylvania, asked Dowd if he considered Rose a likable person. No, I don't. Uh, I've been asked that, that question whether he had any moral bearings at all, and the answer is no. Um, you know, there are, there are, there's a lot of other activity. You know, he constantly violated the customs laws. Um, Michael Berlini, you know, told us that he not only ran bets, but he ran young girls for him down in spring training, ages 12 to 14. Isn't that lovely? So that's statutory rape every time you do that. So, um, you know, he's not, he's just not, you know, the kind of person that, that uh, I find very attractive. Well, that interview happened about three weeks ago. You heard Dowd mention Michael Bertolini. He was an associate of Rose. An attorney for Bertolini says, quote, Mike categorically denies the allegation. He never did any such thing, nor did Pete Rose, nor did Mike say anything to Dowd about the subject. The story is libelous to him and to Rose and should be retracted immediately. All right, as for Pete himself, here's what his attorney, Ray Jenko, told me about an hour ago. He absolutely and categorically denies. Um, what would say? I, I don't even want to bring it up. To, I don't even want to use the word allegations because it's really just baseless. Also told me he doesn't understand why Dow didn't make his claims public long ago in order to protect the public if he felt they were true. But again, Jenko and Rose both say the claims are baseless. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.